was E Riot, and we are not going to be quiet! Free, free, pussy riot! Tons of people out here, and tons of people around the world standing up for to free Pussy Riot. Set free Pussy Riot! Set free Pussy Riot! Pussy Riot is a punk collective in Russia, and recently, on February 21st, members of Pussy Riot participated in an action where they sang a song in a Russian Orthodox church. For that, they've been charged with hooliganism, and they're facing seven years, up to seven years of prison time. Putin kind of has used them as uh, an example of what he doesn't want to see. He doesn't want to see people protesting him specifically. This is a blatant violation of human rights. For free expression to be thrown in prison, this is something that should never be. around the world. The fact that Pussy Riot is in prison for what they've done is ludicrous. It makes Vladimir Putin look very scared. It makes him look very small. It makes him look as if he realizes he has no legitimacy in the eyes of many, many, if not the majority of the Russian people. It's egregious that people who are participating in artistic expression are facing criminal charges for a nonviolent crime, and that these charges are actually pushed forward by Orthodox Church in Russia, you know, people who should be practicing Christianity should probably be um, supporting peace, love, and understanding and nonviolence. And um, people in the church are advocating for their detention. They could be detained for up to seven years. Two of the women have children. One is a single mother, and they haven't been able to see their children. Pussy Riot. I've already been serving a sentence of about six or seven months for a nonviolent offense. I work in the sphere of human rights, and I specifically focus on Russia and uh, the rights of people in detention in Russia. So I'm sure what the women of Pussy Riot are facing in pretrial detention is horrendous. I'm sure their conditions are awful, and I want them out. Their names are Maria, Nadezhda, and Katerina. We're here to demand their release. Immediate and unconditional release. The second thing that we're demanding is that their charges of hooliganism immediately be dropped. They need to investigate threats that have been coming at these women and at their families. All of these are human rights concerns, and that's why we're here today. People like him will never win. In the end, the human spirit will overcome dictators like Putin.